Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. This is Professor Presbury back with another episode of Hey Professor, the show where we talk about everything you wanted to know about health administration, allied health, health information management, and health informatics. I'm your professor, Professor Javon M.H. Presbury. It's another wonderful day. It's beautiful out here. Very hot, a little windy, but it's fine. Uh, to that, the topic for today is going to be EHRs, electronic health records. EHR or an electronic health record is any system that is a repository for medical records for an organization. Uh, most organizations have them nowadays and they utilize them for uh, being more efficient and not only recalling those records, but storage as well as utilization for not only their day-to-day -day but the billing. What most people don't know about an electronic health record is that the EHR is utilized uh, consistently within the organization as well. It's not just for patients to request their records and have them for continuity of care, but also an EHR is used consistently every day by not only the uh, nurses, but the administrators as well as the clinicians. So you have uh, doctors that are going in to kind of review and make sure everything's good before they're operating. The EHR is very important in that regard. And the reason for that not only will your physician want to review the documentation so they know your own medical, medical history, uh, a lot of times a patient will say that they know their medical history, but it's easier just to review the, uh, the health information. A lot of times uh, the patients can get things a little bit mixed up. You don't want things mixed up when it comes to a surgery. You don't want to make mistakes when it comes to knowing what kind of medications your patient is using. For instance, if your patient's using a, a blood thinner, you need to review the medical records. You can't just go by their word. Not only from a liability standpoint of uh, this person could have a, an alternate uh, in interaction or an issue. Electronic medical record is also utilized for the billing in the organization, as well as any quality assessments about what types of surgeries were done or if those surgeries were done properly. There are several types of EMRs. You have Epic, you have Allscripts, you have Cerner, and then there's smaller ones that are, let's say, specific to certain types of specialties. Uh, I've seen cardiology with Philips. I've seen probation, which is like an endoscopy. And each of those EHRs, like I said, serves a different purpose. Uh, a good EHR, I mean, you can talk about different qualities, right? A, a good EHR should be interfaced throughout the organization so that each thing flows uh, very quickly. What I mean is you might have a specialty, let's say Philips, which is your cardiology EMR. When I say interface, what do I mean? Like I said, each of these organizations, each of these departments likely has their own EMR. So they may have Philips for, for cardiology. And with that cardiology, they're looking at a patient's heart and all the systems throughout. That cardiology record that they create should flow directly into Epic or into all scripts if your organization is doing it properly. A complete EMR is a system that not only interfaces well and cleanly, but all the documents are completed, all the documents are accurate, and all the documents can be used by the organization and outside the organization as they need. An EMR is an essential part of a healthcare organization in today's day and age. Back in the day, they didn't have them, or fancy places have them, I don't want to say fancy, but places that were considered more, more modern. Nowadays, you're far more likely to have an organization that has an EMR than one that doesn't have one. That was it for EMRs, guys. So just uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you have any questions or anything you want to uh, hear me talk about next, please let me know. Again, it's Professor Presbury. I appreciate you. Have a good one, guys. Intelligence is not enough. Intelligence plus character, that is the true goal of education.